This is the Emergency Medical Minute. Medical Minute, uh, I had a patient neutropenic and um, was febrile, and I talked to their oncologist, and they had some kind of GI symptoms, and I was, you know, do you, did you consider tiflitis? Not sure if anybody's familiar with the term tiflitis, so I kind of figured it was a good time to talk about it. But uh, tiflitis kind of refers to uh, neutropenic enterocolitis, um, and so you know, typically, obviously, it occurs in neutropenic patients, uh, patients that are on chemo, mostly patients that have hematologic uh, malignancies like you know um, AML and things of that nature. Uh, Tiflitis comes from the Latin word for tiflon, which is uh, which means cecum. So, um, a little background there, uh, and basically the cause is due to some of these cytotoxic uh, chemo agents causes kind of breakdown of the uh, you know gut mucosa and allows for translocation of some some GI pathogens. Um, plus, they have a weakened immune system, so um, they're at higher risk. Tend to be polymicrobial in nature, and sometimes have a, a fungal uh, predilection. Uh, seen in 20 to 30 percent of patients higher in septic shock patients tend to be more fungal in nature um, and you can get bacteremia and fungemia with these as well uh, so typical symptoms patient you know comes in with fever abdominal pain other you know, GI symptoms maybe vomiting maybe diarrhea maybe some uh, bloody stool um, and typically neutropenic uh, it's typically severely neutropenic with a ANC less than uh, less than 500 um, and you know the best diagnostic study is, uh, is a CT, which will often show uh, some bowel wall thickening. So uh, it's known to be pretty uh, significant, has a high mortality rate reported, up as high as like 50 percent in some of the literature. But then I saw a study of 40 some pediatric patients that um, there was like one more t- one mortality. So um, there's the numbers aren't entirely there. So, uh, you know, treatment with broad spectrum antibiotics, often with neozosin or cepapim or inapenem, and then plus or minus an antifungal like boriconazole or amphotericin B. So, um, something to think about was pretty cool for you. Questions? Thoughts? Anybody heard of that? (laughs) Cool. All right. Emergency Medical Minute is and always will be about free medical education. Medicine's most prolific podcast is successful because of our supporters, donors, and of course, our listeners. Please like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And if you support spreading free medical education, please donate at our website, emergencymedicalminute.com. As always, keep listening.